Hawks now. Be interested to see where Collinwood goes for the offense. And going to be a whistle and a foul. Foul on Cozart there. Kind of run Hernandez out of bounds. That'll be her third, team six. So Collinwood in the bonus the rest of the way. It's interesting. Collinwood set the inbound. Drives the paint, shot up. And another whistle. It's pretty straight up by both players there, so I'm not sure uh, who he wants to pick for this. They're going to call Laney. Yeah. Free throw good. Collinwood by three. Well, this quarter is definitely, last two quarters definitely have it went the Lady Mustangs way. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Laney. That was a foul, no call. Heard that slap up here. Yeah. Alley with it. Clock under 10. Alley in the paint, drives, throws a shot up, no good. Laney gets the rebound. Oh, her and Hernandez tie up. And Laney was fighting, fighting her way out of that one. Loretta gets the ball on the arrow, which they better make it count because now they won't get it to begin the quarter. Two. You have to shoot it. And at the horn, yeah. is it off? Are they going to count it? Two. They didn't even have six. Waved it off. He waved it off just now. I think that's the right call. It was. 43-40. Collinwood leads at the three. We head to the fourth on the X-Sports Network. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back into Florida High School. I'm Cam Ashburn with Josh McDonald. Collinwood gets the ball to begin the fourth quarter. They lead by three over the Lady Mustangs. Collinwood with it. Starters back on the floor for the Lady Trojans. Except for Willis. Willis back. It's stolen away by Allie Weathers. Weathers goes up. Shot. No good. A lot of contact. Alley goes up, and now we're going to get a foul. And they're going to get her two shots on that. That was on the floor. <laughs> I think the foul is going to be on Luker. It'll be her second, team third. Coach Rutledge wanting to know what happened on the, on the previous one. Why was there a foul called? Free throw, no good. That come out of her hand. You could tell that and was too strong. Second one in her hands now. Rattles it in and cuts the lead to two. Gray, excuse me, Statham, stolen away. Alley deflected it. Laney picks it up. Laney lost it, couldn't ever get good control of it. Collinwood's got it back. Haddock across the timeline. And they're going to say timeout, Collinwood. 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. You're listening to the X Sports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy, which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham, and I'm the general manager here at Heritage Automotive, and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. 
This is the X Sports Network. After timeout, Collinwood with the basketball. Gray kicks it out to Haddock. Finds Statham, who went off in the third. Gets in the paint. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer coming from Braves off the mark. Rebounded Alley. She was getting fouled the whole way. And they're going to finally call it, but probably not on the initial contact, though. I think they're going to get that on Luker again. Yep. Be her third team fourth. Alley's going to inbound the ball to JP under no pressure. Haddock will pick up Clifton at around the logo. Still giving her plenty of room. Kozark has kind of been quiet here midway through this game. 640 remains here in the fourth. Loretta trailing by two. Alley with it on the right side inside the Laney. Laney triple team, kicked out, swung around. Kozart for three. Right on cue, misses the shot. Rebound by Urban. Got to put that back up, and she does it. JB for three. No good. Tipped out of there. Loretta has it. Good job by Urban. And now we got a whistle. What do we, we got? Haddock on a, on a hole right there. She kind of grabbed Laney's arm, and uh, she's going to pick up the foul. That's going to be her fourth, team fifth. Yeah, Herb right there, she had a really good look as we're going to get a timeout on the floor, full timeout. We'll go with them. 43-41, Loretta will inbound when we return on the X-Sports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. This is the X Sports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. And Collinwood 43, Lady Mustangs are behind. They led by quite a bit early in the second quarter, but it's been all Collinwood since then. They went on a brief run midway through the third, got the lead back out to nine, and Collinwood took the lead before the quarter ended and have not relinquished it. Laney Weathers set to inbound the basketball for the Lady Mustangs. Inbound to Allie Weathers. Looking back door, not there. Out to Clifton. Clifton goes to the right, backs it back out, starts, stops, left side to Urban. Urban, ball fake inside Laney. Laney goes up, up and under, basket good. Tied at 43. This is what they call a barn burner. Now Statham's going to walk in uncontested and gets it to roll over the front of the cylinder for two. JB pushes it up to Laney. Laney looking for somewhere to go. Finds Alley. Alley in the paint. Streaks in. A little up and under. No good. Too strong. Collinwood pulls it down. 5.30 remains. Haddock. Is that not? Willis. Nope, that was Willis. You're right. Got an, That's Ayers. New sub there. That's Alley Weathers steps. Right, it is another sub. Allie Weathers with the steal. JB starts, stops, backs it back out. Cozart wide open, got to shoot that. Go, goes back door to Laney, shot good. Well, if you're going to pass it the shot, get an easier one, and that was definitely the easier one. Tied at 45, nice feed by Cozart. Dumb broadcast, guys, second guessing her. Ayers with it. And a whistle and a foul on Urban, and it's a one and one. They're Those are going to get Laney on that one. They're going to get, oh, they are. Those were tie ups earlier in the night for jump ball. Sanders is going to check in for Urban. Third on Laney, team foul number eight. One and one for Ayers. Free throw no good. Rebound by Kozart. 
Laney going to bring it quickly up the floor. Kicks it out. Sanders in the corner. She gets on some space. Long two. No good. Alley gets the rebound. She is getting Push. fouled oh. like crazy and no call. Cozart to Laney. Laney gets it knocked away. Jump ball. It will stay with Loretto. He was already pointing Collinwood, and, but it was Loretta Ball. 432, 45 apiece. Seems back in for Ayers. Yeah. Inbound to Alley. Now to Clifton. Sanders looking for JB's. Got her. Streaks. Kicks it out. Laney for a long three. Good! Lady Mustangs retake the lead by three. Seven in the quarter for Laney. That was a big basket there. Statham hands it off with Bray. Statham again. Willis. Statham. Looks back door, not there. Gives it up to Gray. Gray goes in. There's going to be a blocking foul on Laney. That's her fourth. And that will be another one-on-one -one opportunity. One more foul, and Colin would be in the double bonus. Her fourth, team ninth. That's going to put Gray at the line for one-on-one. -on -one. Free throw up. No good. Rebound by Cozart. Tony, these rims are tighter. I think they are, too. I couldn't get much looser, though. Agreed, bud. It's different. Inside, not there. Now it is. The alley. Kicks out Cozart. Fires the three from the left side. Good! 51-45. The Lady Mustangs on another run. Timeout, Collinwood. So a couple of big threes from typical post players. And the Lady Mustangs are back up by six. We'll take it with them on the X-Sports Network. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit. For service. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back into Lorda High School, 331 remaining here in the basketball game. Lady Mustangs were down by as many as three. Now they're up by six. Collinwood inbound the basketball. Haddock swings it to the left. That's where Gray has it. Looking for somewhere to go. Pivots, puts it back on the floor. Might have got away with a double dribble there. Wide open in the lane, it seems, and a whistle. What do we got? Dear Lord. Uh, let's see. We're asking for some police or uh, administration. I think they're asking, yeah, they're asking for administration. What is... It's the student section yeah. that they're wanting to move back. Stood there the whole game. I mean, oh, they've got a whistle. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, can't do that. Has nothing to do with the. Uh, yeah, you can't have a whistle. That's At least that's what he says they have. Now, whether they do or not, don't know. Student section is always going to get blamed. 51-47, Loretta with the basketball. Laney with it. Top of the point. Now to Sanders. Sanders picks it up, finds Alley on the right. Takes a few dribbles, spins at the free throw line, kicks it out, Cozart. Cozart on the right. 
to the top of the point, Sanders. Sanders goes back to the right. Nothing there. JB comes out, flashes, gets it. Buddy Mustang's kind of getting trapped over, stuck in the same gear. And Alley might have got away with a push. Gets in the lane, kicks out. Sanders for a long three. No good. Rebound there by Haddock. Statham. Crossover. Left side. Bray. Back to Statham. Fires a three. No good. That one nearly decapitated Laney, and it deflects off her out of bounds, so Collinwood will retain possession. That was a hot shot off the side of that rim. 51-47, 2.05 to play in the fourth. Statham, shot, good. She's kind of scored at will, and she's got it down there tonight. Two-point lead for Loretto, timeout. Loretto, 159, or excuse me, 154 remaining in the game. We'll go with them on the X Sports Network. Introducing Cloud9 Fiber to Lawrenceburg. We take great pride in being the only locally owned and operated internet company within Lawrenceburg and Lawrence County. We're now offering up to gigabit services with plans starting at $50 per month. Surf the internet with blazing fast speeds and reliability, all while keeping your investment within Lawrence County. For more information, visit cloud9fiber.com to request for us to build your area next. This is the X Sports Network. Fifty-one forty-nine remains. Under two minutes to play in the basketball game. Loretta leads. It's been back and forth since about midway of the third quarter. When Collinwood grabbed the lead and Loretta retook it about five minutes ago, and it's. You know, Collinwood had an extended defense in a while. I'm wondering at what point, you know, down two, three, four, did they start having to to press in the backcourt? Well, at some point, you got to figure Loretta's going to try to grind, grind down the clock. Alley with it. The intensity on defense for Collin was definitely picked up. A lot of hands. Fires a three from Laney. Long going out of bounds. It last touched Collinwood, and they're going to say it last touched Loretta. I thought she touched it. She may not have. Going to have Bray in for Hernandez. 138. Haddock, almost stolen away by Sanders. They break it, Bray. It's now back door, will a shot put up, good. Tied at 51. And just, there's no defense in the post right now for Loretto. It's been that way kind of all night. Three from JB, she knew she missed it instantly. Collinwood rebounds, JB chasing it down. Now it's the trap, we're gonna get out of it. Haddock breaks it up to Bray. Back up top to Haddock, tied at 51. Clock under a minute to play in the game. Connellwood's gonna hold. Sanders jumps out on Haddock to make, trying to make her force a play. Goes to Bray. Alley guards Bray. Bounce pass left side to Gray. Bounce pass up top to Seams. They're gonna look down in the paint, guarantee you it's been there all night. Statham, nearly. Stolen away. Alley does steal it away. It's a 2 on 1. Alley crosses over, throws a shot up. No good. She's fouled. And that's going to be five on Haddock. But Alley Weathers will shoot two free throws with 27 seconds remaining. Man, if there's ever a time for an and one, that was it. Get your horn. It's five. It's got to be after the free throw, I believe. And she missed it. One more free throw coming up. Hit your horn again. Hit the horn again. Hit the horn again. You just got to keep hitting the horn until they come over there and see what you want. Well, the coach is like, well, she's already over here. Why are you having to tell you? But that's, they have to do that. They have that. to inform, yeah. yes. You know, anytime there's a foul out, timeouts, anything like that, you've got to inform. I don't know what the conversation is. I mean, she has to know that's his job. Yeah. 
Now, if that's a, hey, we're going to go back and give it that first free throw back. <laughs> well, uh, that ain't. You don't. We, we know there's an official that would do that. Yep. yep. They're not here tonight. You could bait him into thinking, nope, that's, that's not what yeah. Second free throw, good. Loretta leads by one. Collinwood with the ball. Great. Cross midcourt. Goes right. Statham. Had a big game here in the second half. Top of the point, Bray. Back to Statham. Statham picks it up. And timeout, Collinwood. Full timeout. 12 seconds remaining. Loretta by one. I really don't want to send it to break, but we're going to. You're listening to Loretta Basketball on the X Sports Network. I'm Mike Keith. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. This is the X Sports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or the barn. Final season here, first home game of the season. And if you're the Lady Mustangs, you would like nothing more to get a win tonight. They lead by one. Collinwood will have possession when we resume. Twelve seconds remains. I kind of think this guy's contest. This got to go through Statham if you're Collinwood. Absolutely. Or Willis, or Seams, I mean. Either one of the two big girls down in the paint, have, if one gets it, Loretta seems to collapse, and the other one's on the other low block oh. wide open. There's been no help side defense tonight for the Lady Mustangs. I just don't think you let Statham catch the ball. I think you just got to completely deny her no matter yeah. what. Bray, nine seconds. Gets rid of it to Hernandez, and timeout. Another four, we'll stay here this time. I would have swore to you they were out of timeouts because it feels like there's been a million of them called in this game. There's been a lot of slowed games over time, but I believe this one, maybe it's just because it's my first game doing play-by-play -play for the year and my voice is starting to fade and I'm, I don't know. <clears throat> Usually, I'm, I mean, time basketball rolls around, I'm kind of getting my second win from football and I didn't do football this year. So this is uh, shaking off a lot of rust tonight. The voice is definitely fading quick. It's all that weight you've lost. It is. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe you're right. Somebody told me this. It was, your voice got deeper with uh, the more weight you lost. I don't know how that's possible, but <laughs> maybe it did. 7-1, once again, ball's got to go through Statham. Conwood will try to get yeah. it to her right there. JB done a great job at the nine. And you got to do so again this time. I mean, it's all over Collinwood to set some kind of screen to try to free state him to get open to get her the ball. Seven seconds remains. Loretta leads by one. Collinwood with it. Looking to inbound. They do. State him with it. JB's on her. That's a mismatch. Allie knocks it away. Rebound. Shot up. No good. One second. Two seconds. Game over. Lady Mustangs win. She had to look, Josh, and she just couldn't get it to fall. What a game, and the Lady Mustangs miraculously hang on. Man, got to catch your breath after that one. We'll take a quick break, come back with final stats from the barn on the X Sports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, 
personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to Florida High School. Cam Ashburn with Josh McDonald, Lady Mustangs get the one point win. And man, I, that's as close as you can make in a game winner and not make it because it rolled about around about three fourths of that rim and did not fall through the cylinder. And Lady Mustangs will come away and go to five and zero. Oh. On the season, Josh has got our final stats. Laney Mustangs led the night by Allie Weathers with 15. Laney Weathers with 14. Jenny Clifton with 9. Emily Cozart with 8. Carly Urban with 3. And Jesse Chance with 2. Collinwood led the night. Tessa Salem with 22. Huge second half for her. You got Alyssa Gray with 7. Uh, Haley Seams with 12. You've got Jay, uh, let's see, Harley Haddock with 4. And... Danley Bray with three along with Willis. 52-51, Lady Mustangs come away victorious tonight. Well, they don't all have to be pretty. It's a win. It's a win. That's right. A lot to learn, lots lot to gain from. Early season games sometimes can look like this, so learn from it, move on. We're going to start a nut. If you're listening on Facebook or YouTube, we're going to start a whole other feed here. So this one will end, and there will be a new one pop up. We're going to go get ready for the boys game. We'll be back with the new feed when we return on the X-Sports Network. This is the X-Sports Network.